Hello there, Pisces. Welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Um, in your love sector, I feel like what we thought was done and over with, what we thought has um, concluded, has ended, or has been resolved, there's something making a comeback into your love sector. And um, I feel for many of you, the energy that you're bringing to the table, we have here the Eight of, um, the eight of Cups. This is a situation that you have invested a lot of emotions in. You have invested a lot of time and a lot of resources trying to maintain a relationship, trying to work at a relationship. And I also feel like for many of you, it's a cups energy. So it's like giving of yourself emotionally to another person. And I feel like this was a situation that was quite uncomfortable and quite painful for you to be in, mainly because either the relationship was very unbalanced from the start or despite all the effort and the work that you put in you just felt like there wasn't that reciprocity coming through from the other person and so with the hearts in the reverse it's almost like emotionally it was very taxing it was very difficult and you felt very alone and isolated in this process through the entire time frame that you were dealing with this person. For some of you, it might be a period of eight months that you've had this uh, relationship partner or have been in this relationship or have been feeling like this, feeling very empty and feeling like it, it's not really going anywhere. This card indicates to me a very barren landscape where despite the big love that's um, kind of emanating from your heart, you feel like you were losing pieces of yourself and you feel like not in the spirit of wasting time or, you know, being efficient with time when it comes to love, but you almost felt like you were not getting what you were hoping for out of this relationship. Um, if you are withdrawing or if you find yourself, you know, gradually pulling away from this, and especially since the month of August, what's happening with your relationship partner and the person that you are interested in? They show up here as a hangman, as the hangman. And the way that they show up here is they're also stuck in a very, very uncomfortable situation in the same manner as you are. So, yes, they might understand that you are putting so much of yourself in, but because they are stuck in this space of limbo, am I going to be cut down? Am I going to be freed? Am I moving on with my life? Am I stuck here? They're stuck in this state where they can't really make a decision, where they can't really... Um, promise you anything and they can't really make a move towards you because they feel like you're not free to do so or they're not free to do so and i feel it the energy playing out both ways where both parties can feel you feel emotionally very frustrated and very um stuck whereas they feel physically very frustrated and very stuck but i definitely feel they have the the the, the uh, love towards you and it's sort of like everything that's below that they're trying to grasp at. This is you with a lot of growth and abundance underneath, but they're so far removed from it. And it seems as if life or circumstances are driving a wedge in between the two of you where you're trying to formalize plans and you're trying to get the relationship off the ground. But it seems like you're on different pages at this point. And it seems as if they feel like you're slightly out of reach, okay? So whatever the, the situation occurs for you, they feel like you're out of reach. So yes, the emotions and the love is definitely there from their end, but they're not able to free themselves to do anything about it, all right? Um, so I feel like you have to really understand the constraints that your partner is dealing with, the physical constraints. So yes, the emotions might be there, but for whatever reason, there are some awkwardness, there are some discomforts, as well as some physical constraints that they're dealing with that's disallowing them from reaching out to you or, or you know, reaching for you. And so the culmination for this week, we do have the tower, and the tower brings about abrupt and sudden change. So if this is a situation you feel like, you know what, it's not really serving my purpose, I'm choosing to walk away, I feel like there is going to be a major, major turnaround 
for the better with this tower card that is allowing information and communication to come in. So I feel like somebody is coming towards you with an explanation, with an apology, with almost like the desire to speak and the desire to talk to you and the desire to kind of explain to you everything that has been going on in their lives, okay? So for those of you who are dealing with people that are either separated but not divorced, so for example, if you're dating somebody who's separated or but not completely divorced, I feel like they're going to come to you with some type of a clear resolution and be like, I I'm getting a divorce. We're finalizing the divorce. I've already signed the paperwork and it's going to happen. So they're coming to you with some type of a, a swift news that is going to make you feel very welcome. But the only problem is, as long as you have waited, are you going to be accepting of this news or are you going to tell them, you know, I'll believe it when I see it. Or are you going to make demands to see the physical paperwork? Or are you going to make demands to kind of like tell them, you know, once you're done with everything, once you're completely single, then you let me know. Because with the Two of Swords, this is a state where, I'm sorry, let me explain this card first. This is the Prince of Swords, okay, the Knight of Swords. They come in very, very quick with information. They are a messenger and they come bearing news that is very uh, swift, very sudden. And I feel almost like they're, it's like that knight in shining armor riding off after you, not wanting you to leave, not wanting you to make a move, not wanting you to be with somebody else because they're gunning it for you. And I feel like their energy, if they have been passive and indecisive in the past, they're going to make their feelings very known. So for some of you, this could be an air sign that you're dealing with, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. And I feel as, as if some of you have trouble opening up your heart again because you've invested a lot of your time and you have felt very isolated for a very, very long time. And then all of a sudden you decide to walk away and they decide all of a sudden to come back into the picture. I feel like it can be emotionally very destabilizing for you and you're not really sure what you should do. And my advice in love overall is if this were to happen, you need to see the evidence, you need to see proof, you need to have them make some concrete actions and you need to kind of wait it out and let them know that, you know, I need proof, I need evidence or I'll believe it when I see it. So why don't you um, not tell me ahead of time, but just wait until everything is finalized and then we'll go from there. So I feel like, you know, erring on the side of patience because this person really doesn't want to lose you and they're coming in rushing in fast so whatever you thought was done and over with that you've moved away from i feel like the other person is beckoning you to come back or they are um coming in to ask you to come back so with the tower in the center of the spread i pulled out two cards to clarify the tower and I have here the Three of Pentacles, and the Three of Pentacles can indicate a situation where three people are involved. I don't see infidelity so much with the Three of Pentacles, but I feel more like it's an entanglement that can be financially motivated. Three people entangled in a situation. Um, that is, you know, uh, there are home mortgages, children, child support, alimony, things that are um, kind of like the building blocks of a family unit. and when this is disturbed, so it, it indicates to me that you might be dealing with somebody who's either married, who's either trying to get divorced, you yourself might be married, you are trying to get divorced, and another person is like rushing the process, but I feel like somebody's rushing the process. We have as well the sun, and the sun um, in this deck, it's sort of like, what will other people think? You know, it's sort of like someone who's very reputation conscious, someone who's in the public eye, who has a lot of um, people that are looking up to them. They're, um, when they do well, everyone will see. When they do poorly, everyone will see. So they're highly visible in their professional life or they're highly visible to the, the, the people that they're around. And as a result of it, there's a sense of obligation, you know, like with greater responsibilities. Uh, come greater visibility and I feel like there is a sense of responsibility about them but I also feel they are very very status reputation conscious and so they're trying to avoid airing out la dirty laundry in public they're also trying to avoid creating too much riffraff um, like rocking the boat too much in their environment so they're a little bit resistant to change because their mentality is what will people think so if you're dealing with somebody like this in the work environment they might not want to you know um they might want to keep workplace romances 
um, on the down low, so they might not want to advertise that they're dating a coworker. If you're dealing with a person who is, you know, separated and not yet divorced or getting divorced, they're also trying to ease the process um, in a smoother manner, mainly because there might be children involved. Okay, so it's the sun giving life to these two birds. So I feel like it might be somebody who's um, who has children, and I also feel like they're trying to buffer and ease the the financial dis disengagement process between them and their partner. So being a little bit patient with your partner but also being a little bit more critical as to the information that they're giving you are they really free or are they just saying this because this is i feel like you're giving somebody kind of like this is the last straw you have until such and such date otherwise i walk away and i feel like it's caught them off guard and it's kind of like an ultimatum that they did not expect and so they're coming to you rushing to you with all these promises that you know i'll change i'll make amends i'll, I'll try to you know wrap things up from my end so i feel like something is making a comeback you thought it was done and over with but it's making a comeback and i feel like it can be worked at you just need to you know be very firm about your boundaries here okay other areas of your life, I, I feel like you have a very strong spiritual advice that is coming into the picture with this Hierophant card. And um, it's a major arcana card. And this is usually indicative of family institution. This is usually like family tradition, customs, rule of law, and, uh, you know, even the rule of karma that we mortals have to abide by. Okay, this is doing things by the book. What was done in the past needs to be obeyed and respected. It's not in the spirit of retrenchment and, you know, conservatism, but it's all about doing things so that we don't create changes that are too fast, too disruptive, and too swift, especially when there are other people that are involved or there are other people that are affected by the change. So I feel like whoever you're dealing with or whatever you're trying to create in your own life, we have here the magician. The magician is somebody that is very much independent. Um, they only think about, you know, what they can conjure up for themselves, what they can manifest. And this is somebody who's a little bit of a untraditional, unorthodox, and they kind of live for themselves. So I, I see like you're dealing with someone who might be a little bit, who might have a little bit of a selfish streak, or they're kind of like... Um, they're they're out to live the good life okay there might be overspending there might be op a lot of opportunities for you as well to wine and dine with really rich really uh wealthy clients for you to wine and dine and have a really good life that's coming through for this week and i feel like for many of you this is on a client basis where promises are being made on a very grand scale but at the end of the day you want to make sure that they're able to follow through so i feel like in opposition to the hierophant this is sort of like doing things that are tried and true and this is kind of like forging our own path and doing whatever that feels good for us so actions and consequences okay um the major advice here is you can definitely straddle some type of a middle ground or find some type of a middle ground where you don't have to err on one side too much concern conservatism and then on the other side too much individuality because that can also create a lot of friction in the environment and and with the relationships that you're trying to foster for yourself so erring on the side of you know having kind of like that middle ground that sense of balance i feel is going to be really good for you I see many of you working on a contract uh, client basis and you're out, you know, whining and dining your clients in order to close a deal. So for those of you who are self-employed, in particular with this nine of coins, it indicates basically um, being able to land really lucrative assignments, being able to land large portfolios or very um, wealthy, very well endowed clients and having to add that to your portfolio that will grow for you and that will manifest for you. So commission paychecks, I feel like those are kind of um, coming in. Uh, back pay, maybe even overtime pay, all of these things are coming into the picture for you for this week. And so financially, you're in a very, very good footing. However, I want to also advise you to, you know, curb your spending for this week, not because you are extravagant for this week, but mainly because if you are out, you know, with business deal, business lunches, business dinners, make sure that, you know, you keep all the receipts, you keep everything itemized, you staple 
uh, everything that pertains to that one day together so then you're not like ruffling through a bunch of receipts in order to um, get you know your reimbursements and with the page of wands this is some type of a news and I feel it's receipt related okay receipts or uh, payments or reimbursement or things that are like that and I feel like it's linked up here with the nine of swords which means um, things that are not things that needs to be accounted for and I see like a lot of worries and anxieties here and I feel like it might be finance related where you might have misplaced some receipts you might not have the reimbursement that you're looking for and especially if you're spending a lot to woo a client or to get a client on board and then you're kind of um, you, you lost that receipt or you're losing that that uh, paycheck then it's gonna be really hard for you to recoup your losses okay and I'm also feeling as well, if in the past weeks you have been uh, spending very, very extravagantly, this might be the week where things start to catch up with you. And it creates a little bit of a financial sore spot that you're going to have to work through, that you're going to have to, you know, kind of plan out and strategize how you're going to be able to pay that uh, credit card, how you're going to be able to... Um, uh, recoup whatever it was that you spent an exorbitant amount of money on so this is a good week overall for you to take stock you know to uh, not be too extravagant with spending but have a better strategy when it comes to your investment when it comes overall to money that's leaving your hands I feel like on the work front you're seen as somebody that has a lot of um, it's, it's almost like you have a sense of magic about you with this magician card where you can talk big and you can conjure up these really grand plans but when it comes to the people that you're trying to convince I feel like they're gonna go with the tried and true method okay they're gonna defer to the uh, the hierophant which is if it's not broken let's not fix it if it's been done before and it's proven to be successful let's go with that so they're gonna err on the side of being more conservative being less risk adverse and being a lot more like um, sticky to sticking to the tried and true or being a stickler for rules and regulations so know your audience and know who you're advocating for because you know all this glitz and all this glamour it looks good in presentation but at the end of the day they might err on this side so for those of you who are giving presentations who are trying to win over emphasizing your success track records emphasizing how long your company has been around emphasizing you know how long you have been in this position I feel like that's gonna bode a lot better for your credibility okay so um, there's a lot of things happening for you guys for this week in love and also in your um, work and other areas of your life so um, I would say all talk and no action is not the right way to go and I feel that that energy kind of blurring across the two readings so if someone over and over and over again has been all talk and no action I feel like and honestly I, I do feel this coming from your relationship partner but I also feel in a certain way it's coming from you so if someone has just been you know saying things to appease another person or making promises that they can't keep all of it is going to boil over and and I feel like someone is going to get what's coming to them like you've been saying this for three months and nothing has been done about it you know so that can potentially play out in the work se sector if that's the energy that you're embodying and then in the relationship sector I feel like you're walking away from a situation because you're dealing with someone who's a little bit of a talker or somebody is walking away because they feel like you're not um, moving fast enough or you're all talk and no action so I feel like all talk and no action is not the right way to go in love and in life and these are things that we need to be really careful about and and we need to you know check ourselves if it's coming from us and then check others if it's coming from other people okay so Pisces have a wonderful week and I hope the reading is helpful for you I hope it resonates and I hope that it provides better clarity as you go through this week I will talk to you guys soon take care